Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Wish poppy. What's going on in the life of my aqua babies? Are you guys in this place of healing? Seeing things with new eyes, I'd say. Actually seeing things from a different perspective and really just taking that one thing and see seeing how it can actually um kind of be collaborated it's kind of like a strategy in every area of your life collaborated wasn't the word i want to use but if you know me you've been watching me for a long time when every damn mercury goes and water signs it fucks me up okay so y'all bear with me welcome to the mocha little terror channel first time you're on my channel i'm mocha also this first time you're on my channel look out i cuss make cuss a little make cuss a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say so if cussing don't work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on youtube that can further assist you without cussing because me the way i'm set up i'm gonna do that all right uh to the new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we are dysfunctional sometimes we may cry you know we don't fight and fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cry we love we cuss we share we evolve you know we're one big happy family over here posi vibes only to the return of subscribers Familia, did you miss me? Because I miss y'all. <laughs> you guys, I had to get a video in for uh, the last half of June. June been really, uh, I ain't going to lie, moving and shaking for a lot of us. Things have been coming in unexpectedly, some good, some bad, but it's all about tying up loose ends and truly uh, sweeping out the last bit of that damn debris emotionally that's been sitting there residually, okay? So you guys, thanks, thank you all in advance for uh, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for being a part of my family. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you. Also, um, this, re this message is not going to resonate with everybody, you guys. Take what does and leave the rest, okay? You know, um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. But this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aquarius. This is technically supposed to be a mid month, so I'm going to touch on some stuff that could have already happened um, from now until the end of June, okay? So let's get into it. We're going to start with your intuitive messages first. Let's get it. All right. So for my Aqua Babies, I got for you all. I got confidence, spiritual path, letting go, backbiters, two-faced, soul tribe, sex addictions, contracts, collaborations, childhood wounds, sudden wealth, perspectives, illusions, victim mentality, selfish communication, Perception, breaking cycles, twin flame, setting boundaries, past life, catalyst, life path, control, new ideas, new business, new cycles. Okay? So, any of these intuitive messages they resonate with you? This is your message. Let's talk about it. I actually got the overall energy around the reading. Usually I take one card, but the damn the fact that these fours were adamant about falling. Some of you all may be seeing double fours, four, four. Um, that eight having to do with infamous, those fours having to do with stability, okay? Um, for others of you, this has to do with foundations, okay? Healing foundations, or for some of you all, this could also be healing the aspect of control within yourself as well. Or um, stepping away from trying to control situations. This is the aspect of surrendering, not, not 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 com not completing the war or not completing the battle not getting the job done but surrendering the control and the aspects around it in which we cannot change okay right so your first angel message shout out to my favorite one of my favorite Aquariuses. her name is joe um i'm not gonna put your whole name out there you know y'all Aquariuses don't play that shit but thank you so much for um my divine uh counterparts deck as well as my oracle deck thank you so very much Okay, so first angel, uh, angel message I got for you guys is teaching and learning from Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and teach, I'm sorry, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others, okay? So for some of you all, you're seeking for your life path, okay? You're wanting to know 
what your path consists of. A lot of you all are going to be receiving uh, several synchronicities. Your angels are around you very heavily during this time, your ancestors as well as your spirit guides. Others of you, this could also be some guys are going into some type of ministry during this time. Others of you, you're going to be receiving a whole lot of esoteric information, intuitive insights. For some of you all, you may have an overactive solar plexus. There's a need for you guys to rest and rejuvenate, okay? Others of you, there may be some type of expansion or expansive energy or expansive. Um, some y'all may also be experiencing some type of crown chakra activation in a massive way. Spirit is really using you guys as vessels during this time. And for some of you all, this has to do with ancient wisdom, philosophy. Some of you all may also be in school or wanting to go back to school for philosophy. Others of you, this has to do with the karmic lesson. It's an aspect of turning your pain into power. It's an aspect of taking everything that you've learned because I'm hearing triggers, okay? Um, literally, I just heard the Janae Aiko song. Trigger when I hear your name. Triggered when I see your face. Triggered, I'm not okay. You need to stay out of my way. Yeah, so I definitely feel the energy of reconciliations. People coming back around who once possibly tried to control a situation or where there was once an issue with or a power struggle in a situation. I definitely feel like someone has humbled themselves. Someone has also or could also be undergoing some type of awakening as well. This could be you or another person within your energy. So I definitely feel like one person is teaching another person how to surrender and another person is teaching the other person around the having to do with the aspect of control. This is a lot of past life energy, you guys. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who you have a past life connection with. Some of you all could have had a father figure that passed away. This could be a grandfather, a brother. This person looks to be a bit younger, but this could also be a father. This person may be connecting with you in your dream space during this time. This could also be a husband I'm hearing. Some of you all, you've undergone things in your past, and there's a need for you to take this time to really step back and really reflect on where you've been. So not only can you be grateful for growth, but you can kind of see what it is that that can be realigned for your steps and your progress moving forward some of you all have been teaching someone the lesson of growing a damn pants speaking up for themselves and that person has been teaching you a lesson of patience there is some type of either this is a some type of twin flame union or a past life union that's trying to come into fruition but there's a need for you guys to just stay in the now and not focus on the outcome or the result, like not focus on the outcome or an expectation around an outcome because things are changing that are not with that are changing are changing that are out of your control. Mostly good because it definitely has to do with your healing as well as releasing. Okay, speaking of which, next card you got was clear your space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. Okay, so some of you all may be practicing the art of feng shui during this time in order to manifest um, or uh, work on some type of LOA, law of attraction. Others of you are needing to get near a big body of water. Meditate near a big body of water. Some of you guys are really needing to, needing to connect with the element of water. Some of you guys just have to do with the water goddess energy. Or you being in this feminine energy, your energy being sensitive, but there's a need for you to move move on the things in which you want to create, for you to be extremely innovative when it comes to entrepreneurship, business ideas. Some of you guys also, um, there's also a need for you to speak up for your beliefs and your value structure. Some of you guys may be going through changes when it comes to how you view religion and how you view um like what's your views when it comes to heaven and hell, um, the afterlife, uh, reincarnations. Some of you all could have grown up, I'm hearing cathedral, okay? So some of you guys could have uh, grown up in the church. Some of you guys could have also grown up here in Catholic, okay? Others of you, there's a need for you all to heal from being so hard on yourself. Like there's a judgment energy here. Your spirit guides want you to know 
that you really need to be patient with yourself during this time as well as the situation. They said that there will be some type of divine intervention that is occurring. Things behind the things beneath the scenes that may appear here in the 3D as a catalytic situation in order for you to fully free yourself from a certain situation or someone or something. Okay. So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my aqua babies in love? No, I like to be all in y'all business. They say shuffle the wheel. I'd already shuffled. Renewal of families. Some of you guys could also be reconnecting uh, with some type of like family dynamic. Other of you, there could be some type of catalytic situation with your love interest family dynamic. Some of you guys could be hearing about a tower moment from your love interest. They just showed me the tower. And what messages do you have for my queries? Is in love? Okay. Right. So some of you guys. Some of you guys could be dealing, some of you guys could be freeing yourself from a marriage, okay? I got the justice with the nine of pentacles, okay? And for some of you all, there's good news when it comes to legalities. Justice will be in your favor. I definitely see you being able to expand. Some of you guys, this is about starting over after possibly releasing yourself from a relationship, a marriage, a karmic soul contract as well. And in doing so, it's going to rain in. Your, your reward from Jupiter be the damn, the motherfucking shmine, okay? Others of you who are waiting to hear about some type of legalities on some type of court case regarding some type of paperwork money that looks damn good for you all. Especially if, for those of you I'm hearing who are finalizing business loans of some sort or maybe you're going into some type of entrepreneurship. If you were looking to receive some type of grant or business loan, money looks damn good. I also heard the word inheritance. Some of you guys have unexpected money coming from an inheritance. I definitely feel like some of you guys have been manifesting the truth during this time. Some of you guys have literally been Putting up, putting that out in the ether. I want the truth of all situations. I want everything to be revealed. And oh, is it being so? Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys may be cutting off this. Some of y'all may be cutting communication with this person or removing them from your life. And in doing so, and for some of you all, it has to do with toxicity. This person could overly do things. They're very overindulgent. For some of you all, I'm hearing codependent. Some of y'all just have to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, this could have to do with Somebody, some of y'all could be finding out that somebody who you connected with snuck back to their damn past, possibly when they was damn inebriated, damn it. Yeah. And I felt like you could be resisting this person during this time. Some of y'all could also, in the past, you could have been trying to manifest a situation to come into fruition or some type of, uh, some type of information regarding a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially if you or this other person have been defensive with one another. Some yes, yeah, somebody was being defensive about ending a cycle. The fact that I have the wheel card and the world card here, you guys are ending toxic cycles. So you're going to be ending karmic cycles or ending cycles. If you're in a commitment, you're ending the toxicity around the cycles. If you're dealing with the Taurus, Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Leo, some of you guys are going into new cycles with this person. Others of you, you're going into a new cycle independently. You're healing for yourself. You're healing by your damn self. And I feel like you're done resisting. You're done resisting this ending. Some of you guys, you have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is possibly going to be. I feel like you feel that this person. You feel like things could be moving a bit slow or this person is offering you love, but they're not telling you everything. I feel like this person, for some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign and got a drinking problem. Others of you, this person could also be hiding how much money that they make. Okay. And others of you, this person, you wanting to offer your love to this person. This person is wanting to, um, this person wanted to offer you love, but you don't trust them. You don't trust them. You feel as if this person is offering you love, possibly because they have a fire sign or a, another fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, damn Aries. Okay, this could involve an Aries. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys have been trying to manifest a new beginning with an Aries. You could have cut this person off. This person could have been resistant in the past or could have been fighting you. Um, fighting you. Somebody is healing. This could also have to do with a Taurus. A relationship is getting ready to expand. Uh, Take take harvest into new heights. Some of y'all could find out you're pregnant by a tourist. Others of you could also be finding out. Some of y'all could be getting engaged to a tourist as well. Congratulations on the twos of those news. 
Some of y'all just have to do with the reconciliation that can now be um, a stable offer. Someone could have been holding their feelings to themselves because they have to heal. They still have childhood wounds to heal. For some of y'all, this have to do with the mother figure, okay? And others of you would have to do with an abandonment issue around the father. This could be the father of your children where there was once chaos. Now someone wants to come in and they want to offer a hand, but you just don't trust them, Michael. Yeah, and for some of y'all, this could definitely be a twin flame situation, okay? Yeah, but I feel as if, yeah, some of y'all could also have been dealing with a Virgo or this person could also be hiding the fact that they could have had or some type of reconciliation with a Virgo. Somebody, and this is for the Aquarius woman, someone, this could be your partner. I definitely feel like some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is offering you love. However, this person could, there are some type of changes, especially if this person is already in a commitment and attached to a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If this person cut you off in the past due to rectifying the family situation to, uh, for some type of solidity or some type of renewal in the family situation to fix it, shit is hitting the fan during this time. This for you could be finding out that this person is newly single, okay? And for some of you all, there is light to be shed on a situation. I see somebody going through someone's phone. Some of y'all who are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is attached to a Virgo or a Taurus. They could also be attached to an Aries person, a Pisces, a Libra, Capricorn. Some of you guys are ending cycles with this person and going into a new cycle of your life where there will be some type of solitude. Time to heal for some of you all. Some of y'all got new love coming as soon as you release some shit or a person that makes you feel as if you're not enough or make you question your self-worth or your value. This could be, yeah, some of y'all are definitely moving away from a fire sign. And some of you guys, whew, some of you guys are moving away possibly from a water sign due to the fact somebody went to their past and thought they was damn slick and tried to reconcile with their past. And this was the catalyst situation that I was picking up on. Um... Some of you all could be finding out that someone reconciled with someone from their past that they have a child with trying to hold on to their coin. Their intention was fucked up. They was trying to hold on to money or do this for some type of like somebody was preventing I'm hearing or, or trying to avoid paying child support or someone uh, taking their money. Some of you guys. Yeah, some of y'all are going to get a front row seat to someone's karma. This could be a Libra, an Earth sign, um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For those of you who are going to court, possibly regarding a fire sign, I do see justice being in your favor. For those of you who have been waiting for some type of finalization of contracts, I do see justice going in your favor as well. For those of you who, um, yeah, for those of you who could have started something new that's stable, okay, I definitely see you and your partner going into some type of business collaboration. Some of you all, some of y'all have a Gemini that wants to offer love to you, but I feel like there's trust issues there. I feel like you guys love each other, but there are still unresolved issues from the past or someone unable to move away from things that was done in the past. It's like they're the want to move forward, but every time something doesn't go someone's way, they bring up the past. You're moving away from that shit. You're like, I'm done with that. I'd rather be by my damn self because I don't disappoint me. Others of you, hmm, others of you who have been waiting for someone to leave a third party or you're the third party, I definitely see where there was three, there's not one, there's not going to be two, but some of you guys, there could be a plot twist because I definitely feel like you're waiting on this person to come forward towards you and this person told you that they had to leave somebody else. Some of y'all could be finding out that that person left them and they butt hurt. So that's the hold up. There's a delay. Cause somebody in they big somebody digging their feelings. Ooh. Yeah, some of y'all, the secret is somebody baby mama pregnant again. Others of you have some of you guys have been patiently waiting for a Sagittarius. And this could be a Sagittarius who you have children with. I definitely feel like there's gonna there there needs to be a conversation that's had for there to be clarity. Because I definitely feel like someone was hiding either a whole nother family dynamic or a whole nother someone was being stagnant and moving forward with you because they were trying to tie up loose ends but they were looking out for the benefit of their finances that's the part that they're omitting if you're finding this out but you're listening to me so this is the tea okay for others of you this could involve a water sign cancer pisces scorpio why is uh the temperance here why is the temperance card here why is the temperance card here for Aqua? Why is the temperance card here? 
clarify the temperance card, please, for Aqua. Yeah, for some of you all, you've been trying to manifest this, okay? Okay, so some of you guys, and some of you guys, this could be someone, this would definitely be a family situation or a family dynamic. Oh, so the verify the moon card. I got the ten of pentacles and the three of diamonds again. To clarify the moon, if you're dealing with a cancer Pisces, Scorpio, some of y'all could be finding out this person like they like cake. They want to have their cake and eat it too. But for some of y'all, this person is being greedy. They're trying to hold on to their money so they went out and had a situation possibly with the mother or the father of their child. And there's a pregnancy going to be ready to come about. They can't have a baby forever. But some of y'all, I'm hearing out the mouth of the babies, this person's child may reveal this to you. Why is the hermit here with the seven of swords? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo that you don't trust due to the fact that this person will not give you clarity over past secrets in order for you guys to move forward. So you just couldn't it short. Some of you guys, there is internal conflict about, yeah, that person is not you couldn't it short. You're done with that. Why is the Empress here? Clarify the Empress. The Empress with the Two of Cups. Some of y'all have a soulmate that's a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, um, Aries. Oh, Virgo. A few people here in the building. Yeah. But some of you all, this is about somebody. Yeah. But some of y'all, this has to do with you actually flourishing when it comes to your business. And for those of you who wanted to start a business when it came to a new business endeavor with your partner or trying to build something with your new partner. For some of y'all, this is definitely a new partner. Okay. I do see that being prosperous, you guys being able to be practical because you guys both have the same passions, you guys both share the same drive and ambition. I see that looks to be good, especially if this person is an earth sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, say Cancer Pi uh, Capricorn towards Virgo, or a fire sign. Why is the Justice card here with the Nine of Pentacles? Why is it just, some of y'all are dealing with a lever, they want to be free. They want to go spread their wings, baby. So some of you guys want to free yourself from a commitment. You're going to free yourself from a marriage. Yeah. Possibly the third party will do the third party bullshit. You're moving, you're more, moving forward. Possibly either away or with the Libra. And going to go to something. Moving on to calmer, cooler, cooler waters. Calmer waters. Why is the lover's card here? Some of you guys just have to do with starting over fresh with a Gemini. But there could have been control issues. A power struggle could also be an Aries. Am I y'all damn cards keep jumping? Okay, so for some of you all, what you don't know is, if you take it slow with this Gemini, ultimate fulfillment, you can have whatever you like. The cards are in your hands, I'm feeling. Why is the Emperor here? Yeah, for some of you all, you could be having issues when it comes to past emotions regarding the Emperor. This could be the father of your children. This could be this Aries triggers triggers uh, behavior when it comes to your father, which is something that you notice and that you still need to heal from. So for some of you all, you're moving forward and keeping your options open. Some of y'all, this is involving the water sign that wants to keep moving forward and keep their options open. Some of you guys, you move moving forward away from this damn water sign because this person is connected to somebody from their past. Or they, they have some type of situation that has manifested due to them trying to be slick. Gee. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Some of you guys are reconciling with the Capricorn towards Virgo. Either you or this other person have been trying to manifest that after releasing possibly an air sign, earth sign, fire sign. Some of you guys are releasing somebody who got damn sex addiction. Someone uses sex and uh smoking some weed and shit and alcohol and shit pop pop he also heard pills to cover up their damn addictions or their feelings they don't want to heal they want to get fucked up why is the nine of cups here why is the nine of yeah but some of you all you getting what you manifested when it comes to it's harvest time when it comes to new money new opportunities new job opportunities new investment opportunities okay Money looks damn good for you guys during this time. Anything you touch will turn into damn gold. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here with the Queen of Pentacles? Some of you all, yeah, some of you guys are building on something solid after ending something toxic. You're tired of resisting or dealing with people who are resistant to love. If you don't know how to accept my love, I ain't going to make you. Excuse me. Yeah, and close my damn door on the way. Don't hold it open too long for them fucking flies get in, okay? Why are the seven of rods here? Yeah. 
someone there's a, there there's you guys are ending ending a cycle and there's balance coming to a cycle that was once toxic okay or you guys are after re ending a cycle where there has been resistance you guys are actually finding your own balance to focus on what it is that you've been trying to work on which will ultimately bring that coin some great damn justice okay why is the world card here i got a flipper okay so we end in cycles with mother with dealing with people who are indecisive. We end in cycles with being somebody's fucking option. We end in cycles with dealing with people who don't know how to communicate. We end in cycles with folks who are charging you for someone for their past crime, for their past, for their ex's fucking past crime. Because they haven't taken time to heal because they want to get fucked up and party like a rock star. So, Aquarius, how come? Spirit, what's your best advice for Aquarius? Some of you all. Spirit is saying, open up, speak your truth, open up and take the damn new beginning from the King of Pentacles of this water sign. If they're new. What's the advice for our office? Now to study. Yeah, for some of you all, it's there's a need for you all to stop focusing on what you invested and have faith to walk away from it to know that you're walking into a greater season, baby. But some of y'all this could have to do with the Scorpio, okay? Others of you just could have to do with the earth sign. But some of y'all just have to do with a family dynamic. Just, I know I've invested all of this and I know that this is what I wanted. But I understand that I have to allow you to have, gain a, a whole new perspective of who the fuck I am. Because I recognize this connection. The only thing you recognize is that you're not serious. And I'm done letting you come in my life with this shit and turn shit upside down for me emotionally. Well, I can't focus. So some of you guys this could also involve a fire sign. And some of y'all, you're going to find out where you invested in, especially if they was with someone else, okay? Or dealing with someone else because they had a family. Somebody could have walked away from a family dynamic and it could have happened very fast, okay? This could have been manifesting since this last full moon that we just had. But I definitely feel like this person, even though this person could have moved away from another person, Spirit is saying there is a lot of passion here, but this person needs to work on their finances. This person is coming through with the night, but they're, they're coming through with very slow moving offers. And there's a need for you all, okay? To continue working on what you've been working on. And don't put all of your investment into this. Until he shows his face into this. Because this is what he wants to give you. But he wants to take things slow. Because he could have recently released a situation. Where the foundation was just made off of sex. And motherfuckers just using other people for money. And being manipulative and being indecisive. And you allowed that into your energy. So if this is someone who left a third party. You also need to set some healthy boundaries for yourself as well as with this person um, so that this person don't come back doing the same shit that they was doing. Never forget, forgive, okay? Forgive, but never forget how the fuck that shit made you feel, ever, okay? You guys remember that. This is what I have for you all from now until the end of June. You guys let me know how this resonates. This was the tea, honey. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Love you all a long time, and I will see you guys for the month of July. You guys pay attention to the community tab. I'm going to be putting up random sales all week and next week and pretty much the end of the summer. So I love y'all. Toodley babies.